Hey guys, John here with Sergeant Ritz. Thanks for joining me. I'm getting ready to hit the road. I have a collection I'm going to go check out. It's awesome looking. Um, a bunch of vintage Star Wars, vintage G.I. Joe, vintage Transformers, um, all kinds of vintage wonders. So we're going to go check it out and uh, hopefully uh, make a deal. All right, guys, we made it back. That was a longer drive than I thought. That was like an hour and 45 minutes each way. I thought it was about an hour. I was wrong, but as you can see, the truck is loaded with toys, passenger seat, bed of the truck. Almost didn't have enough room for everything. Um, we actually left a little bit of stuff behind. Really cool people that I met. Um, that's, like I said, I say this a lot, and it probably sounds repetitive, but I love, love, love meeting people, talking to them, hearing their stories, and, and um, buying their stuff. So let me show you some of the stuff. I'm going to get it all in the building um, and start sorting stuff, but I'll do a quick walkthrough of what we have here. So we have a killer whale. Um, it's a lot of random stuff. So we have like this uh, Mickey Mouse record case and the record player that matches us is around here. We got the Sesame Street, um, Fisher Price. We got a droid factory in the box. Now, a lot of this stuff looks like it's pretty close to being complete, uh, but I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to go through it all. You can see we have a um, Terror Drone back here, Snake Mountain, lots of random stuff. Let me show you what's in the bed of the truck. I should give you guys a little peek at the store, but I'm not gonna. I might, I don't know. I, don't, I might, I might. All right, so let's see what we got back here. All right, so as you can see, the bed of the truck is full. Um, and it started sprinkling just as I got the last load in here. There's some cool stuff like these here. I'll show you what those are in a second. I gotta get this in out of the way so I can open this. You can see we got a box to Snake Mountain in there. So there's a lot of boxes. Um, they're not all pristine mint condition, but they are there and they are pretty cool. So we have Snake Mountain uh, with the box. Unfortunately, the handcuff chains are broken on the, the mountain. But we do have the box for that and the Snake Mountain inside. We have a, uh, the Killer Whales box. We have old uh, Dr. Drill and Phil. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff I just had to shove in the bed of the truck. I didn't bring boxes. I should have. Brought a couple totes, but the stuff is bigger. Uh, we have the tomahawk box here with the tomahawk inside. We got a G.I. Joe pillowcase. We've got some um, Star Wars sheet sets and stuff like that. There's a uh, there's more in the back seat here. Uh oh, don't fall. As you can see, I got this crammed in. So we got the uh, R2-D2 um, toy box. We got a bunch of loose Star Wars figures. We got the Star Wars cases. We got a uh, Night Raven. We got the Death Star back there. So we got a ton of stuff to get inside the shop and start getting this stuff sorted, put together, put on the shelves, in addition to all the other stuff we have. All right, we got the first uh, load in. I'm probably risking too much by uh, staying out here if the storm comes through, but I just wanted to show you guys as we're getting it out what we have. We got a bunch of Hot Wheels, Matchbox. So a lot of those, I think there's like four or five cases like that. So we are gonna get all this stuff inside ready to go what else do we have here we have motu this is full of figures it's a stink bug Ugh. it's like stink i hear they taste like apple pie but um got a bunch of motu and all the accessories just fell out don't want to lose a mod lock piece especially his torso so a bunch of figures that's nice we got a web store with this hook no, no real high-end uh, Motu figures in here. We got a half boot Skelly. Looks like no Scare Glows or Sorcerai or Randors or anything like that. But still, we got a nice little selection of figures. Uh, not, a, not a black face Grizzlor. So we do have some accessories in the mix, and I think there's more accessories in a box inside there. But again, like I said, I'll try to go through all this stuff more inside and just kind of trying to give you a little bit better review. Let me get this stuff packed. I'm just going to pull stuff out. And once I get it out here, I'm just throwing it in here so I can get it all inside easier. But we got a random box here. So there's a bunch of random boxes that we just uh, got. Because mainly, there's I saw some Star Wars weapons inside of some of them. Um, there's a bunch of just random little, kind of neat little figures. We got Santa Claus, uh, Papa Smurf there. Someone melted that Snoopy die. Oh, no, it's pencil sharpener. So, 
who remembers these water toss or ring toss games? Looks like there's a crack. I don't know if it'll hold water, but. Baby toys, there's a muscle man in the trash can. Oh, looks like a key to a key car. Um, giant set of checkers. Giant weebles, or Fisher Price little people rather. So a bunch of little random, random pieces of uh Toy mania, and there's a couple more things of cars. So you've got the Dragon Riders of Sticks. He said that he thinks most of it's in there, so I have to double check that. We've got a, another Hoth Planet playset, Cantina, um, Snap Action Scene. There's a Evil Knievel Super Chopper back there, G.I. Joe uh, Pillowcase. So, big track. We got some of these cool uh, old squirt guns and stuff, too. I remember having one of these. The, I think it was Intech, I want to say it's called. Entertech battery operated and you put a little bit of water in there so those squirt guns are cool but yeah let me get more of this inside what's in there a couple more vehicles for joe's so a lot of cool stuff guys i'm gonna spend some time trying to get this stuff all sorted all right the next batch we have here is the to the rescue um play set I have a couple old uh kids records pac-man one's cool those, those are pretty neat. I like those. I don't think there's a ton of value there, but they'll look neat hanging up, or maybe someone wants it for their collection. In here, we have some more vehicles. We have a Rattler, a Moray, the APC, a Dragonfly. Looks like there's a Hiss and the Vamp, and a Mobat down there, and the Wolverine, I believe. So, um, most of that stuff, I believe, is complete or close to complete. Um, obviously, we didn't go through every single bit and piece because there's stuff in boxes that were upstairs and downstairs all over the place. Um, I guess this is what's in here. That's cool. Uh, this is just the, the sleeping bag. But then we have these sheets underneath here are some uh, Star Wars vehicles. I know there's Slave 1 under there, a couple other things. We have the uh, Super Stunt Chopper. The Sarlacc Pit game in there. And there's the other part of the Stunt Chopper. And there's that Mickey Mouse um, record player I was talking about. So I'm going to get the rest of this stuff uh, inside. But it's easier just to pull this out and show you as we're going. And we'll go, like I said, I mean, if there's anything super cool in there, we'll uh, try to show it. That's a bunch of kids' records. So, let's see. Will this all fall out if I open this? Nope. So we have the Death Star uh, Station playset in the box. I think that's mostly complete, he said. Um, a couple collector cases. These are all G.I. Joes. I think he said, I want to say there was 120-something Star Wars figures and like 88 G.I. Joe figures. Uh, my numbers might be wrong, but somewhere in that range. Um, but then there's you saw the Motu and stuff like that, so a lot of cool stuff. And look at the storm is already moving. I'm risking it, guys, for you to show you all this stuff. Woo! Hope your teeth don't look like that. All right, so here's a little bit more of this stuff in the back seat. Like I said, there's a ton of Star Wars figures. I know there's a bunch of accessories. I don't know if they're, they're probably not all complete, but have to go through it all. I know there's stuff in random boxes. We got some G.I. Joe books, some Choose Your Own Adventure books. Um, we got the Motu um, comic books in there, some G.I. Joe and Star Wars comics. This thing, unfortunately, was broken, but it's still cool. The Energizer Bunny. Darth Vader's uh, TIE Fighter here. The uh, Rebo Band. What else? We got the Galactic Man, who is a uh, total knockoff of the Transformers. From uh, That looks exactly the same as, uh, what's his name? Uh, Devastator? I might be wrong. I'm horrible at Transformers, as you guys know. How about that? Max Tonight. Or, I mean, uh, Max Hedrum. Not Max Tonight. Two different characters. But, um, give me a little more peek now that we got more of the stuff out of the way here. We got our Snake Mountain. We got the uh, Blaster Rifle case there's the box for the drone which is in there this rough riders uh, 4x4 play set a couple more cases for gi joe there's our snake mountain there's my kid's seat so he's driving safely this has some wonders in it um, as well so we'll get i'm gonna get the rest of this stuff inside because i did feel a couple drops i want to get this stuff out of here and then uh, we'll go through some more of it uh, once we get inside the building all right guys Looks like I've been in a time warp, but I stopped. We actually did a live video of uh, the sign going up, but 
Unfortunately, I think Denise deleted it when she was trying to get it up. She's never done one before. So we're gonna show you what we got. Let's see here. Trying to get run over. But there's a sign that's got a cool, like, backlit red on it, right? So you'll see that for a while. And I don't think we've shown this yet. You saw it in the live video, but the front of this building is bright red. Um, there you have it. Mayor Gus, I think that speed limit sign needs to be uh, moved. So, we're starting to get stuff set up inside. Um, we have a little Halloween display. We're pushing, like I said, to get this place open before Halloween. Uh, we're really just waiting on the flooring on the inside, and I have to get the handicap rails put on the, uh, the deck here. So, I think that's getting done tomorrow. We'll find out, and I'll show you if it is. And, um... After that, we should be good to go. We just passed all our inspections today for mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Um, so let's get in there, guys. Stick with us. This is going to be the best dang toy store. East Coast, West Coast. I don't even know where we're at. Midwest? I don't know. Michigan? At least Utica. At least Van Dyke. At least within, like, the distance you can kick a soccer ball from a building. It would be the best damn store. So, all right, guys. I got work to get done. Catch you later. All right, guys. So we finally got everything inside. Takes up a good little chunk of this uh, finished space we have up here. This is where I'm doing all my sorting and everything. I'm still uh, processing this Lord of the Rings collection that we picked up. We have so much going on right now. But we get a big collection like this, it's nice. You don't want to pass it up, you want to pick it up so we have some, some cool vintage stuff for you guys in the shop, which we hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we'll be getting done here. Ugh, I'm hoping before Halloween. So we'll see. It's going to be tight with the flooring, but definitely before uh, Christmas. So. Here's the R2-D2 um, toy box. A lot of cool stuff inside of it too, honestly. Super Flight Aerobi, the Astonishing Flying Ring. That's cool. What else we got in here? There's that Mickey Mouse record player. A couple old plastic dinos. hear a bunch of sirens in the background is because it looks like and I'll show you it's dark out there's a uh, uh, the fire pretty much died down but there was a big fire over at that gas station over there oh, you can still see it let me go look out these windows here it's probably hard to see with the uh, the way the lighting is but I don't know if it's the gas pumps on fire or what but there is a large fire right down the street from the shop. So that Hydro Pros is like a, um, a gardening place. But that's like, I don't know if that's the gas station that the fire's at or if it's the side of the Hydro Pros or if it's a car wreck. It's been burning for a little bit. So I don't think it is a um, car. I don't know what it is. It's been going on for about a minute or two at least. So hopefully everybody's okay. But um, let's get back to something that's not scary. All right. Um, back to the toys, right? Hopefully everyone's okay. Hopefully it's just like a dumpster or something on fire over there. We do have the Death Star here in the box. I have to go through it all and make sure it's complete. Um, we have the monster for the trash pit. That thing's cool. I mean, it's... Got the eyeball. <laughs> got a couple more uh, little mini rigs. Speeder bike. Wampa Tauntaun. It's just some random stuff. I always find random stuff in collections like this. this someone made this obviously um money is dear it's like a just a sock not used i hope uh, canadians de montreal so it's a hockey stick just some random books um looks like a little uh disc gun a cat oh, it's got a spooky the cat we got a bat. Everyone had a rubber bat like this when they were kids, right? I know I did. Uh, looks like we got some books here. And this is like some of the randomness. Yeah, every time I get a collection. Not every time. But there's always like just a random little thing of randomness. Like a stress foot. Got a Pac-Man gumball machine bank. Another one of these. I mean, I always remember having this kind of stuff when I was a kid. Like, I don't remember it until I see it. But I know I had something similar to that. Um... Some of these old Halloween things are just sweet. Uh, let's see. Silicone three flange earplugs. That's probably going to go in the garbage. Got Macho Man, a little uh, caveman thing. A little spider. What else do we have in here? It's a uh, 
Pierre Cardin watch. I'm sure, it's not a fine jewelry brand. The top. So, some interesting stuff in there. We looked at that. So now we have the killer whale. Oh, we have the box. It looks like it has some plastic melt here. Um, that piece is pretty easy to replace. So I can swap that out. And it looks like there was a, the fin was repaired at some point. So we do have the killer whale almost complete. Well, it's got the, uh, the depth charges and everything. So here's some GI Joe, it says. We got a Play-Doh Fun Factory, a couple small uh, die cast. says G.I. Joe file card so yeah we got a bunch of file cards for the figures that's cool I always like matching that up uh, the steel brigade patch and remember the printer paper like that dot matrix G.I. Joe uh, black knight so that's the steel brigade uh, I guess you got that when you mailed away for that got a little Texaco pump this is cool a couple super suckers I have this. I had this, and I'll actually probably keep this because I actually have a picture of myself on Christmas morning holding this very pistol, laser pistol here. So I'll probably keep that because I remember having that. I actually have photographic evidence of it. What is this thing? Um, penny Racer stunt race case, and it looks like the Penny Racers are all in here. We have a little Pez snowman, a Dr. Seuss alarm clock. I guess those are finger puppets. Like I said, a bunch of random stuff, guys. Random memories. Can't go wrong. What's this? Um, Return of the Jedi card game. Okay, cool. So we have some more of the uh, Motu comics. That's neat. Always like to find those. Now, this thing was broken uh, when we got it. It did not break from being there. But here's the Galactic Man. I think we looked at him earlier the max rebo band there um so another one of the uh vehicle maintenance energizer so we have some transformers this is a little model uh we have star scream there's a max headroom cup i don't know if these are complete um what's that sludge i forget all the uh, Again, I say it all the time. I'm horrible Transformers. I know Grimlock, uh, Megatron, the Bug, uh, what's the sound wave, right? Uh, we got the Jet there. I forget his name. We have some uh, Star Wars curtains, it looks like. Ooh, twin flats. Nice. Lord Vader's chamber. So, oh, that one's not fancy. Oh, it's Big Bird. Okay, I thought it was just a regular old thing. I might put these curtains up in one of the windows downstairs if they fit. That's actually, that'd be cool. That's what I'm going to do with those. There's a lot of, lot of linen here. I feel like I bought a bunch of dirty laundry. Okay, so here's some more of the uh, squirts and everything like that. I remember getting, I, I remember having this. I don't know if it was this exact same one. I know it was this type of gun because I remember I would always lose the super soakers because literally it only held this much water and it just shot out in little pss, pss, pss. It was like horrible. And then the super soaker kid would get you. And you'd just be a, you'd be toast. Now I think these originally came in like black, but with everything going on in the world at the time, I think that's right around when that little kid got shot with a laser tag um, gun. So they changed these over to a bright color. We got this claw here, robot hand, ninja stuff. Is this a squirt gun or that's just a just some kind of? A gun. Oh, what's that? Ooh, is this a mad ball? Ertle. Huh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it was like trying to be a mad ball or something. I don't know if you squeeze it and that fly pops out. I'll have to do a little research on that. I've never seen one of those. I thought it was a mad ball. But I don't Ertle didn't make mad balls. I think it was a uh, Hallmark, I thought. So a ninja sword. Helmet. It's an Uzi. So, slingshot. 
That's cool. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I did not know they made role playing. Uh, well, I know they made role playing stuff. It's a role playing game, but I didn't know they made like the. Uh, it's not cosplay back then. I guess you didn't call it that, but that's cool. So we saw Doctor Drill. And we have this uh, to the rescue thing. Matchbox. It looks like it's the the twister's broken. I'm trying to see if that fire's still going on. Uh, no, it looks like they have it under control. Um, that's the pack and sack, which I'll probably need to sleep up here when Red kicks me out for bringing home too many toys. We have the Rattler. We looked for this out there. We got Slave 1, which was underneath all those sheets. And it, is, it does have Han and Carbonite, and I believe it's complete. Um, the Starlock Pit game. There's the other part of the Evil Knievel thing. The box for the Mickey radio. Snake Mountain, more boxes. Hot Ice Planet, which is in there. I don't know if it's complete. I haven't gone through it yet. Robbie Jr. Rock Tumbler. I'll probably give it to my son since he is obsessed with rocks. Uh, there's a couple of Mad Balls in here. What's this? Oh, cool. So we got the uh, G.I. Joe blueprints. We have a couple of Mad Balls. Okay, so I can see who actually made them. It's not Ertl. I know that. Uh, I can't make it out. Uh, Worm Skull T Mac. Got a Tron bike. Just a bunch of random stuff. That's a stomper right there, right? Rough Rider. Got the Sesame Street Playhouse, or Clubhouse rather. And what's this? G.I. Joe, a real American hero. So there's a bunch of broken ones, which I can fix. That's not a not a big deal. Just matching up the legs and the crotches and the torsos and all that fun stuff. And we have a bunch more in here. I haven't looked through all these to see if they're uh, broken thumbs and broken crotches. Got Doc, Wild Weasel. Um, I'm trying to see if the uh, pilot for this is in here. Got a bag of muscle men. I have a ton of muscle men. I have to go through these. Let's see, some of them are a little more valuable than the others, but I think most of them fall right around the same couple dollars. Uh, more Joes. So, you know, is, that, is that Sergeant Rock? I think. And we got Scarlet here. She's got a broken thumb, and she is a straight arm. Unfortunately, she does have the broken thumb. So straight arms are the first first run of G.I. Joe's. They don't have that swivel right there. So these are actually pretty nice shape. Especially for um, straight arms. Those ones normally beat up when I find them. So this one here is not a, a straight arm. You can see the joint right there where his arm swivels. So there's a couple. There's another one. What else do we have here? We have a couple cases. These are empty. We we'll have the collector display cases. Um, what's in here? I think this is GI Joe or Star Wars. Nope. Um, so we have the wrist rocket um, Dukes of Hazard car. This giant Mego 12 inch. I didn't know Mego made 12 inches. Is this actually Mego? Yeah, it's Mego. Giant Mego Spider Man. Little Tonka car, John Deere car. What else do we have? This is a bunch of randomness. I think that's like, yeah, Motu weapons, little army men, just kind of some little randoms. Um, rich, meaty chili. Some old pins. This is cool. Old Budweiser uh, pin. Let's see. United Steel Workers of America, fight for the living. Not sure what that means. That's slogan, anyways. Bunch of G.I. Joe vehicles, accessories it looks like. Yeah, there is a bunch of the weapons in there and missiles and stuff, so I'm gonna have some sorting today, guys. And good thing I have some friends who like sorting toys because we are gonna be busy, guys. Um, there's some more accessories and a severed leg. Star Wars, let's see here. Ugh. All right, so I got these open up. Let's take a gander. Uh, we have the Rancor Keeper with his hood, a couple of Ewoks, 
Um, that's, uh, what's it, the, the Leia? Isn't it the Skiffguard Leia's? No, 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 that's not. I forget who that belongs to. Uh, we got Viv Fortuna, more Ewoks. Uh, the stickers with the names, that's cool. More Ewoks. The only one I know is Wicket. And there's like Chief Wampa or something, I don't remember. A couple Gamarine Guards. So we have a lot of duplicates in here. Um, sand people, biker scouts, squid head, I mean stormtroopers, but they're white, you know, they're not yellowed, which is nice. Because a lot of times you find these and they're yellow. So that's nice. A bunch of Imperial Guards, there's Greedo, old Lamdu, Lando with a skiff guard uniform on. A lot of army building stuff here, guys, a lot of the, the stormtroopers and stuff. Three Gamorrean Guards, I don't think there's a Rancor monster in here, which is strange since there's all those Gamorreans. Gamorreans. So, there's another... Coat somewhere. I thought I had another case. Oh, it's out in the hallway. But, anyways, I'm tired. I'm getting ready to go home. I've been here all day. Um, getting stuff priced out, getting stuff uh, put on the shelves. We're still waiting on these windows in this back office, but I'm not letting that hold me up. These ones work. The uh, the new ones we ordered are just like the, the dark bronze. The, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going, I'm going like this. The dark bronze color, but you don't see me doing that. So I wanted them to match the windows on the outside. So unfortunately, those are not here yet. So that's why we didn't put the trim on these windows yet, because there's no point taking them down, and this is just office space. Um, kind of like the area that me and Denise and everything we use to kind of relax and chill. Um, but right now it is loaded with toys. We just picked up these two collections. And actually, sneak peek, there is another collection out there. I will show you guys. I'm, I'm doing a video on that. So I picked this stuff up, and then I think it was the next day that one came along. When it rains, it pours the collection. Sometimes I have dry spots, guys dry spells and uh, I don't get anything in them but then there's times I get a lot all at once which is nice um what will be nicer is when I get the store open and this stuff can start selling and I can start clearing it out and making more money and room for uh new collections because I always love looking at collections buying toys and just kind of going through a little bit of childhood like memories and nostalgia and the history because while this was not my childhood collection a lot of this stuff is stuff I had um not the Lord of the Rings though but a lot of this old stuff is stuff from when I was a kid. Like, I remember this. I did not remember this until I saw the box. And I was like, oh my god, I remember playing with this thing. So it's so cool to find stuff that you just forgot you had. That's the best part about this job is, like, I find stuff that, you know, I didn't remember, but I remembered when I seen it, you know? So it just jogs that memory. It just gives you a little bit of a nudge. Um, I don't remember this ever. I don't think this is empty. Oh, and here's that Rough Riders thing. I'll show you that real quick. So the Mountain Gully with Teetering Bridge. So, I gotta hook up that cat wire, in case you're wondering. But, I'm like, a, a, I'm all over the place. So, they have squirrel, look! But, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff like just this bat, like this silly stuff like this. that I, you know, it's in my brain somewhere, it's locked up. And then, like, finding it in the collection is like the key, and it unlocks these memories that I had of having this stuff. And, um, oh, there's the other Star Wars case. Ooh, there's another one. More G.I. Joe books, Star Wars comics. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll look in this one. Although I think we did a brief peek out in the car. So yeah, some more troopers. Um, you know, not really any like super high-end figures in here, but there's a lot of cool ones nonetheless. So, love it, love it, love it. Love doing this, guys. And I'm glad that you're here watching us and uh, following along. And I hope that this stuff that's jogging my memory jogs your memories too. And gives you a little piece of your childhood back, even if it's just for an episode or just for a moment. Um, and again, that's why I love doing this so much. Here's the other box. All right, so. Well, don't want to sneak peek on that too much. What was in here? Oh, yeah, some of the vehicles. Just some random stuff. I never, this did not jog any memories. I never had the big track. Let's go through the last box. I know I went to those Motu out in the car. Oh, I looked at this one already with the guys outside. So, anyways, that's that, guys. I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna go home, go to bed. It's like, it's 10 o'clock at night. I've been here since like seven o'clock this morning. So, all right, we're getting this place done, guys. And uh, stay tuned, keep an eye out, and you will see our announcement for our grand opening, which will hopefully be soon. I'm putting my shoes on. You're probably not watching anymore, but if you are, you're watching me put on my shoes and babble to myself. And no, I have not partaken in any kind of alcoholic beverages today at all. I'm just uh, really tired. What do they call it? Slap happy? I don't know. I'll probably edit this out of the video, but yeah, because you're looking at my nose right now. You don't want to see that. But if I walk downstairs and you're still watching, if I walk downstairs and you're still watching, you can see what I'm working on. Might be worth it. 
to look at my nose to see what we got, um, got going on down here. So I'll show you. If you're still on the video after 30 minutes, you deserve a sneak peek that everyone who left early didn't get to see. All right, so we're going down steps. Still waiting on the, uh, the flooring in here, guys. Not a lot of people watch this far in most of the videos, so I don't mind giving a sneak peek to those of you, faithful few, who are sticking around. So, here we go. We have the back of the store, right? Got some uh, little dolls and toys. We got some wrestling. I'm trying to get this place to be set up where it's all kind of in different areas, like the gaming figures, wrestling. Uh, we're going to do like Ninja Turtles, Star Wars wall. Ho, 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 ho. Santa Claus, uh, more Star Wars stuff. Here's our beautiful, beautiful bathroom. It's huge, but we had to make it ADA accessible, so we have room if you have a, um, wheelchairs or, or you need to have the extra space. That's cool. Slimer's not staying in the bathroom, but he's there for now. A little sneak peek of what we got going on for those of you guys who stuck around. Superhero wall, and I feel like this place is already getting filled up, and I really don't have any vintage up yet. There's no really vintage stuff up yet, but the reason is I'm waiting for my display cases. Um, once my display cases get out here, I'll be able to put some of the higher end stuff in there. And I can't do that until I get the flooring, so which is coming. But all this stuff will be gone. I mean, I've already taken like four or five of these boxes out of here of just stuff that I've taken out of cardboard boxes. You don't care about that. You care about the toys. I have a lot of caulk left over. I need to take that back. So we've got superhero stuff here on the walls. Um... I think this is how I'm going to kind of leave stuff set up, and then when we get the, the racks and stuff in the middle and all the display stuff, we'll have a lot more stuff out. Um, up here, we have some more stuff. We built those shelves up there, which are coming in really handy, just to have the extra stuff. Um, I think the display case, the countertop, like for the uh, register area, is going to be probably where those totes are going across here. So we have some slat wall there. We have some just little fun stuff here. Um, by the front, we have these uh, Garbage Pail Kid Geeky Tiki's. We have some of the Mad Ball, the horror ones. Some of the um, blind bag stuff, some fun little stuff right there. We got a bunch of stuff over here. We got some Power Rangers, some Jurassic, uh, a bunch of movie related stuff. NECA, you got some old Dick Tracy stuff, Bugs Life. So a lot of this is newer stuff that I've been putting up. Um, don't worry, there's lots of vintages you guys have seen. Over here is where we're kind of doing the Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, Transformers. And again, it, it looks like a lot, I think. Um, but we have all this space in the middle that is still going to have shelving and racks and everything like that. So we got a lot of space. Some of this stuff might move off of the wall to make space for the vintage up there. I, I haven't decided exactly how that's going to work yet. But I want to hit the wall, hit the ground running when we get the flooring in. So this stuff's all priced to put in our computer system and all that. We have some of the Masters of the Universe geeky tiki's over here. We have a couple of vintage pieces up there. I was just testing the shelf light. But Joe's, Transformers, just random stuff over here for now this was bigger stuff that i was trying to keep off the floor and priced out we got a little bit of pokemon here just some random stuff i got these from curiosity ink auction if you guys follow curiosity incorporated um, they had an auction for some stuff and that was in there just some overstock stuff we have extras of are going over there everyone loves urkel uh, did i do that that's not really a section that's just kind of stuff i stuck there and the ever popular male nurse action figure. So, again, guys, it's just a real quick sneak peek for those of you who decided to stick around uh, for 30 minutes and hang out with us. And while you're here, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, and share. And we're going to keep doing videos of this stuff as we get it going. Um, probably won't do another sneak peek of the inside of the shop until it's pretty much uh, ready to go. But I wanted to kind of give you a feel of what I'm trying to do here. Um, if you guys have any ideas or suggestions of, you know, what how you think things should be arranged, you know, um, themed sections or whatnot. Just let me know, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I'm really leaving this time. And sorry for the uh, nostril shot, guys. Catch you later. Sorry, out.